Hello once again, audience. Here we have number 15, Arceus from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Now, anyway, uh, what's going on, guys? How are you doing today? Glowing Gear Studios here, coming at you with a different kind of video today. Now, you might be asking, oh my goodness, why am I seeing the finished product at the beginning of the video after the amazing intro that I just saw and not at the very end? Well, to that, my clever, astute audience, uh, the thing is, I want to do something uh, a little bit more informative and more on the educational side of things. This is Arceus from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and this is an earlier model that I made. I made this model, wow, let's say a couple of months ago, yeah, more than that, it's about half a year ago, and... Uh, this was, I'd say, one of the first moments in my sculpting career that I recognize what it means to truly block something out and break things down into shapes. There's probably going to be several videos that I'm going to do on this matter, but I'm going to show you what I mean using Arceus's head. So I'm actually going to sculpt it in real time. Obviously, it's not going to look as refined as this. I just want to show you guys the basic idea. So let's get right into it, and you're going to see what it means to block something out and use the minimum possible shapes using clever cuts and techniques to make uh to create that fundamental base that you're going to build off of as you continue sculpting your model so let's get into it okay so what are we really working with here here we have a an extremely high quality high resolution arceus you know just about as high resolution and high quality as brilliant diamond and shining pearl is and what are we really looking at here, right, when it comes to this head? So, right away, let's see if I can do this. Oh, goodness, I have a wrong color. Let's do red. So, what do we have right here? We have a tube. What is happening? Do, am I just... Oh, I didn't actually select the color. Silly, silly me. There we go. So, take three. What do we really have here? We have a tube right where we have there we go just this right same thing so this is the two that we have we you know shrink the radius right here and then that'll make it go into more of a conical shape obviously you know at various nodes right we could adjust the uh the angle and then we'll keep it cooking now here's the interesting thing and this is when i started to have my aha moment when it started to come when it came to sculpting this shape right here does not need to be any more complicated than it is. This is a sphere that has been cut in half, right? And obviously it's a little bit pushed in here with a little bit more of a rounded section right here. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe, uh, maybe the sculpting thing isn't so bad. Now, right here in the chin, what do you think this is, right? Let's take a guess, right? Let's think it out. Okay, what do you see? Well, what I see is a cone right here that's also been cut in half, right? And you can see it, right? There's a flat edge right there to kind of make that lip-like shape, and then it's rounded right there. Then, to make the main part of the face, if you look at Arceus more from a head-on perspective, this looks like a, let's say a cube, right? So let's say here's a cube, and then let's say if you're looking at a cube dead-on, it looks like that. Right, obviously with much cleaner edges. Now we could rotate that cube, you know, 45 degrees, and then that cube will now look like this. Looks kinda similar, right? And then all we gotta do is now figure out what we're gonna do about this region. This, it's as simple as this, right? We take here, we're gonna take a cone, so let's say a cone is usually looking like that, right? And then we're going to flatten it so that it looks like this. And then right here on this little bo box-like shape, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to take a box. Then we're going to push it this way so that it rounds like that. And then all we're going to do is fit that right to the side of the face. Now, ready? We're going to do it in real time. And it's going to probably look super mid compared to what I just did. And especially compared to this little model. But you're going to okay. get the point. Hello everyone! I hope that I don't regret saying that I commit to this real time, as you, uh, you poor audience, you're expecting it to be, what, let's say like 5-10 minutes? 
Turns out to be a half hour, as sculpting always does, but that's okay. Again, we're just trying to get the idea across. So, let's take the exact reference image that we have, and let's just, uh, let's get this started. So, we got a sphere. I'm gonna put the wireframe on just to make it a little bit easier to see. I should probably also use a background that's a little bit brighter, like that. And then, hopefully your uh, eyes aren't gonna get irritated from this blue light. Now, let's get it to cook, let's get cooking right away. So we have, let's validate the sphere. Now you're gonna see exactly what I mean. So we're gonna go right to the front. Then, let's go get a rectangle, trim this. And then, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the gizmo. And then we are going to narrow the, wow, what would this be? I guess diameter, you know, because I guess it's circular on the bottom so then we're gonna go here we're gonna pull it out just a little pause then we have again give it a little bit more of a dome right up there probably gonna narrow this edge yeah just like that okay so you're like wow we have a beret that's great didn't know that we were in paris now that's okay because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this box do I have perspective on? I do. Let's go to orthographic. Now you're like, what the hell does that even mean? Orthographic basically means that perspective is off. So notice how, consider a horizon point, um, and you things that are farther away are like not pro are proportionally smaller than the things that are in the foreground. This completely removes that, so that everything is the same size, no matter the quote unquote distance that it is, which is pretty cool. Now, we have, all we're going to do here is going to go to the gizmo, then we're going to use math, and we're going to rotate this 45 degrees. I hope you all remember your geometry. So we're going to go here. We're going to shrink that. Now watch this. Now we're going to go to a line so that we can get it the position relative to the center. Now you're like, oh, wait a minute. I see what's happening here. Then what we're going to do is we're probably going to take, here's a go. Now it's really going to come into play. Right now we're fixed on the right side. Now forgive. We're gonna take the where is this? Where's the trim tool? Any Twitter? I don't know how to block notifications. By the way, if someone wants to tell me in the comments how the hell to do that, that'd be great because I don't want like anything insane to come up on like a Twitter chat. But uh, we have. Let's say we're gonna now take this. Now we're gonna trim right here. And you're like, oh, I see what's happening. And I'm like, yes. Now we have, I'm learning! Now ready? Then we have, let's say, let's go to the cone. We are going to rotate this cone so that it's right here. This angle doesn't, or not angle, but this shape doesn't really matter as much. Or, what, actually, the angle, you're right, the angle doesn't matter as much. Who's right? I'm right. The angle doesn't really matter as much. So now we're going to take this, going to validate that. Take the trim tool. As we said, we were going to do back in the demonstration. It means something, guys. Pay attention, take your notes. Actually, even better, we could take a line, fix it right on an edge, cut just like that, and then, oh, this is what I mean by the, like, you do, like, this general push, so watch how cool this is, you zoom out, if you go here, and, like, let's say, depending on the radius, right, and, like, the, and the intensity, so on and so forth, we could extrude, I think that's the right word, forgive me if I'm wrong with that, but we could extrude part of the mesh right there, or, see, like, how I just messed that up, right, we could go here, right, make this big, and then, look, we could push the whole thing to give it an edge. Let's turn the symmetry on. There we go. See what I mean? Look at how cool that is! It's so intuitive, right? And that's one of the, that's one of the things that's so neat about sculpting. It just forces you to plan ahead and, you know, be creative with your shapes. And I just love that so much. So then we have a... Where is it? Where's pinch? Pinch, pinch. Here we go. So we're going to pinch this, right? So that we get this whole shape together, probably up the intensity, there we go, again, this is rough, not supposed to be pretty, you're like, Jesus, you're messing up the topology, and I'm like, I know, that's where we're gonna remesh it, you're like, what does this term even mean, and I was like, I don't know, I'm just learning just like you guys, but that's okay, uh oh, right, you're like, wait a minute, we have a symmetrical imbalance here, what do we do, well, intelligent lady and gentleman, let's put Arceus test, we are going to force symmetry. We're going to mirror this one and the name. Let's put this right. World. There we go. Yep. Now it's more or less symmetrical. I don't know why. Let's take the smooth tool. Boom. Boom. There we go. Now we're getting it. See? Everything's working out. Right? Again, this is just to get the idea. Right? There we go. Right? Again, since it's also, you know, 
we're just trying to get the image correct we don't need to necessarily you know let's say all this if you were to solo this you're like wow that looks terrible it looks like a freaking hawk or a snapper turtle but that's okay now here's what i mean so let's take this check this out now let's go to code we're gonna go out here we're gonna mirror get that really nice and narrow bring that up bring it back here give him his little ears right there and then all we're going to do is then take this move tool do the same thing that we did with the chin pull it back just a little to give that nice little that gentle bend that he has right there good and now all we're gonna do last parts or last two parts super easy so let's take the box where is it so we're gonna mirror let's put a box there we go now this box is already by default mirrored since it's in the same hierarchy as the ears we're gonna bring that there we're gonna make that maybe a little thicker and then take the move tool now watch how cool this is we're gonna pull that to the side right there and you can see how we get that bending shape that i referenced before right narrow that right there make it bigger Obviously, all this stuff gets cleaned up and meshed together, and you're going to see that it's going to look really good, really simple. Tube! And then, this is super easy. Watch this path. So that's where we actually use the nodes. I don't know why that just occurred, but let's go path. Right here, one, two, three. Confirm that. You're like, wait a minute, why did that happen? Honestly, couldn't tell you. There we go, we have here. I think it's because I had it set to the same mirror hierarchy, so now it's not. There we go. It's off center. All we gotta do is just approximate that for the sake of this message. Definitely running over 10 minutes, but that's okay. Right? There we go. Now let's do that diminishing radius, just like why, right? So now it's nice and thick in the back. Radius right here. Boom. Uh, look at that. There we go. Bring this all the way out here. Look at that. There we go. Went a little British for a second. And then look, right? Now we're getting the uh now we're getting everything squared away. Right? Now, we're going to take this, smooth, smooth, we're going to voxel remesh the absolute hell out of this thing, probably a lot less, there we go, let's go 90, there we go, smooth everything together, you're like, whoa, wait a minute, this low-key looks like a Pokemon now, and I was like, I know, uh-oh, wait, you're like, where did the ear go? All we have to do is, we have to use the world symmetry, mirror that, boom, right there, just like you remember it. And what we could do is then take, let's go to that mirror. We could add a sphere. And then, again, just to get the idea straight. <coughs> Gee, oh, man. Excuse me. Yeah, I've been fighting this cough. Totally not fun. But that's all right. There we go right there. And then duplicate it again. Make it smaller. And now we have some something akin to an eye. There we go. Again, just to get the idea. And where the where's the crease? Let's make our fancy little lines. Oh, let's get that symmetry on. There we go. Where are you? Actually, we could just do a brush, create negative, and then there we go. Can we do? Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Now we have it right there right there and then we could validate this tube and then we could just do a thin brush actually we can subdivide this there we go now we could add detail much better put a tube right down there and then another go right there and then we could force the symmetry there we go right now you're like wow this is the most botched here we go and then let's get the turntable going there we go Rid of the wireframe. You're like, wow, this is actually the most disgusting Arceus I have ever seen in my whole life. And you know what? That's okay. The whole point of this was for you to understand that it's a lot of simple shapes that come together to make a much prettier whole. And once you start breaking things down, I think that Pokemon are awesome for this. Once you start breaking things down, could I center this, please? Where's the middle? Oh, it is middle. Jesus. Well, anyway, yeah, once you, uh, Pokemon are great for this, where they have a lot of simple shapes that come together to make very unique designs. So, practice. Don't be intimidated by really complex shapes. You know, I would say stick, stay away from 
uh, human faces as a beginner because that stuff is just gonna it's gonna be a nightmare for you. But Pokemon are a great place to start, awesome place to learn. And I just wanted to share this stuff with you. I'm super passionate about this. I hope you guys are too. If you stuck around this long and listened to this rambling slash like live tutorial, super appreciated. If not, you wouldn't have seen this message, but you know, I care about you anyway, so thank you for that. But please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more if you're interested in this content. There will be more for me coming soon. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you all a fine farewell.